cannibals. Clementine! No! Uh -huh. Huh? Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had a start. They could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? Yeah. I'm scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Shut up, Larry. Mom, I was eating that. What is going on? Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. Where did they get the meat from? It's true. Damn. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing and up duck. in rural Georgia, you're taught duck not to cleaned waste. his plate before anybody. It's how He's I was eating. raised and how I raised my boys. Now we got eating. monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. You're all sick. Sick in the head. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? Put your guns down! We're walking Don't out of here! Near my fucking Mommy, family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay! Lee? Lee? Hold on, nigga. You better. I'll kill you! And Mark came down. Xbox 360 version, and I bought the real are. other version today to get all the episodes. I got another good one for you. You should have can't just that motherfucking road. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Okay, James. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. I'm with or without you. I'm protecting my kid with my life. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch. Your oh, me and this. Ain't no peace, we ain't signing no peace treaty with this motherfucker. Square chin ass. No peace treaty. I'm for the smoke. Bombacle. Yeah, we're getting more efficient with taking him out. Oh, he got a new fit. The leg didn't heal. Sweat. Who the fuck is this? Damn it. What'd they get this time? Who the fuck is this guy? <sighs> Looks like a rabbit. I don't remember that. Did <sighs> well, I miss something? No. That's another meal he lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so yeah. much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. I knew it. They were gonna be in this situation. When I accidentally Somebody grabbed for Carly's spot. rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. 
Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it, if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure yeah, hope no. so. Yeah, between well, the lack I know. of food he is a red nigga. Really fighting all He's the time. a survivor. He's getting pretty tense he ain't back gonna give up. You know, Kenny's Long been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Mm -hmm. He's about to race us. He's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Hard problems or not, we should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, not Hell yeah. Be flat. Yeah, I'm gonna need, you need to get my get back. First sign of trouble. It's a wrap. It's Chalk City. Odin, are you watching us? Yeah, take that motherfucker out. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Mm, I don't think that's a raven. What Shit, the noise are you? I don't know. Come on. Tell me Kenny got packed up. We just, just count on him to be the end game. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? I don't know, man. Who raided your camp? I, I don't know, guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you, I swear. Lee, this is fucked up. We've got to help you. Please. Man, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Gotta get him out of there. Oh God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Oh, here you come. Oh. Breakfast. Lee, oh, this trap has been altered. Uh. There's no release latch. Oh no. Wow, for one special. Shit. Walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please, please. Well, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Zumbles Kenny, keep bit. those walkers off of me. We don't have time. Lee, do something. No, no, no. Try the trap again. Anything, please. Try to get the chain. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. I, I, I seen the preview. That shit ain't coming off. We ain't got time. Ah, 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 Lee, it has to be now. Ah, on your fucking head. Swing it. Ah, oh God. Shit. Is he? He passed out. We're gonna need a tourniquet. Tie it up. If he's alive, oh, grab him and let's go. <laughs> They already tied it, Neil. Turn behind you, Travis. Come on, come on, we gotta move. But your dad was special forces. Oh, 
this one. Yeah, he over Open field. Well, we know he wasn't deep one. Star for him. Yeah, we dealt with him. Had to cut his leg off, but he'll be out here. Damn. Let me time. Gotta kick a soccer ball to a barrel. Eagle Isle up there. She on it. No scope. It's just us. Oh, they from a Clement and they from a uh, Quentin Tarantino movie. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Yeah, come on, y'all finna come be on. out for the rest of this episode because y'all brought another person to What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's going on? Hey, time to explain. Hey, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang oh, on. Shit. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together just like to us. survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for Damn. all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. I got a ticket. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <laughs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I. Just come on, yeah. okay? You, need to you come like on to over think here, you're the leader dog. of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Yeah. Hit the wall, boy. Yeah. Listen to your mama. Daughter. You think well. this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. <sighs> you only have four food items for ten people. All right. Time to make a decision. Fuck, fuck, fuck. We really only got two because the kids because <laughs> the kids gotta eat first. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. 
You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Blade, this man has no leg. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> uh, work I'll on, keep that you know, in mind. I left if my magic wand food, back and make Duck it. Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we didn't get some food? I got you, OG. Like, you know, hey, I don't, Duck. Uh, I don't, I don't mind food. giving food to Duck. I don't mind giving food to Duck. You know, he's a hearty young man. Give him the jerk. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Lily <sighs> has me handing out the food. Ugh. That can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food, even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. All right, we're going to run a little test real quick. Back in a bit. We're going to run a little test real quick. My bit of judgment tell me don't give this motherfucker nothing. Will you hold the but damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. <sighs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Here, Larry. Ooh, I don't like this motherfucker, but you know what? I hope you don't think this makes us friends. I could have gave you nothing. <sighs> but I made it but I made a choice. Uh, Mark man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. Need any help I got with you the wall? Home. Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Sure thing. We're gonna give it to here, Mark. This, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, outdated. And that's what you think this is? Is that what you told him? Yep. There. That's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care sure. what it is, but you two have got Bust to start that, trying to get along. That goom, goom the only thing I, I have to do is protect my daughter. And See, right now I that means that getting this damn wall fixed. So I would that's appreciate I it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. We'll get back to work. Peasant. I know, I know, I know. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Take it, Mark. Here. You guys are building a wall. That's all I got left. Thanks, Lee. Good, OG. And now uh, I'm a breatharian. Lily! All Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. 
It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Thanks, Kenny. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Yeah. Ken, Lee, <sighs> come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. Yeah. What about the other kid? I don't know. Ooh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. I can't lose Kaja. She's a healer. I can't lose Sakura. Hurry! <laughs> Give me that. Shit, it's stuck. Hey, come on, Maguire. Mark Maguire, let me get you. I swear to God. I'm gonna fuck up out of here. Nigga, you always falling. I got it. I got it. I got it. Plus a cap. Bumble clock. There you go, Slammy Jane. You could have told okay? us he was bit. Yeah. Bruce. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's... It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know, I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Lunch me. Back off! Clammy Jane lady, activated. relax! Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Yes. Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. Katsuki duo. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Why has Ben coming? It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. 
This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. <sighs> Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? Whatever they could get their hands on. It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone don't. would see it that way. You ain't gotta you're right. Listen, you ain't gotta the years, the burden I've reported of your, uh, some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I am. No more room for a bad man, yeah. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Oh, man. Y'all asking too many damn questions. I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Oh. Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. No, well, no, no, no. We'd we love don't to give, get you give, all out to the we don't, dairy. We don't, we don't, we don't like hand I said, out that we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we I could always they use they some extra help. Yeah, trying to scope it In out. the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Because Mom's remember, been running said, the dairy a group of raiders for as long as I can camp. remember. But we don't know if it's now. Them. It's you getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, oh. get down. No know. one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always oh, pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fuck you knew yes, we were hungry. Really and you guys were keeping it there's all There's only two of them. Oh, no. There's yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! Damn! Fuck you! Fuck Danny you! Jesus! Ammo. Asshole! That's one pissed off Marauder. The world out here is going to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Let me get that crossbow. The Black Daryl Dixon. I can see the tagline. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Damn. Shit look tight. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so works. safe. <laughs> the fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. More than a plug-in. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Uh, yeah. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company right coming down the drive. I ain't seen no Guys, cows. I this is our mom. I'm Brenda St. Yet. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my they goodness, that good place there. is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with there. survival experience to lead your group? Lily. She's tough as nails and keeps us focused on what it takes to survive. Lily was in the military, like me. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh, yeah, um, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Yeah, stop trying to scope us out. See, he's special Joni. He, he trying to get, uh... We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. 
amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could go <sighs> for the day. Mark well, us. how about we this? Y'all go don't get realize. your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. Us out. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip here. over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Why are we leaving her alone with the new guy? Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll yeah, keep my yeah. eyes open, and you find out what you can from Akatsuki Duo out. All right. Akatsuki Duo out. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Just trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what, we'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. Sounds good. Hmm, that was odd. Alright, what are we gonna do about this rope situation? And it didn't give me an option to ask him about the rope, so... You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. Yeah, yeah, they got a plug outlet with some wires. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I didn't get a chance to check out the barn area yet. I'll do that after helping Andy get the perimeter secured. I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. You got any rope? Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? It looks custom built. Nice of you to notice. My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Well, he did a fantastic job. I believe in making a house a home. Well, if anything yeah. comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Okay. I see we gotta go on our patrol before I can find the rope, because I... <clears throat> all right, all right. Let's advance the story because I can't find any rope unless I'm looking past it. Talk to Andy. Mind if you Hi. Hi. 
Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if anyone tries to fuck with us, they'll regret it. Well, protecting your people is important, but in my experience, having that many guns around is when people get dangerous. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points. Northwest well, that'd be a big section, help. so y'all got them Sounds divided. Easy, oh, shit. Stay attentive. You never know. Something's odd about this place. I can't put my finger on it. We fuck around, it might be so how's cannibal. The place looking? I don't know. Is it safe enough for us I to I ain't seen no cows. We can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. Hell yeah. That guy's a piece of shit anyway. Relax. You're not making things any better riling him up. I go out of my There's way one. to be courteous to this motherfucker. Aiden even gave him food. Ugh. I had to give him that. I gave him food just Lee, to question it's his dead. Ass, but it didn't work. Come on, let's push it off. Wait, that's an arrow. I haven't seen anybody shoot arrows. Looks like he's stuck. Lee. And he said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Yeah. Alright. Arrows. Disgusting. I ain't seen nobody shoot no arrows except for that guy with the crossbow. Okay. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Uh, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge no. up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Something's wrong. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. Yeah, I appreciate that. There's another one. I see it. Something's odd. I've noticed they avoid the questions like just like how I avoid questions. First about the barn, then about how many rooms they got. Uh, Nigga, what? Uh, Blonded red. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. You're just gonna leave Christ. it like that? Okay, never mind. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. Yeah, yeah. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. All right, I can suck it up. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Man, Mr. We Crispy could, we really off. Could secure this, we could secure this place if we got more people. Good idea. <clears throat> we really could secure this place if we got other people here. You got a you got a little water tower. Little help here. I'm coming. Calm down.
the button masher. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh shit! What the fuck? I knew it. What the? Get to the gate. Fuck. Get down. Track. 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 Who the fuck is that? No idea. I don't know. Robin Hood. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. What am I supposed to What am I supposed to be? Okay. Hold on. Damn. All right, all right, all right. I should be able to. Nope. Get your head down, boy. It won't, it won't push. There it is. Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! ah there are ah, shit the now there you are, boy. Hold on. Don't move too fast. Don't move too fast. They got bad aim, but they ain't got that bad aim. Oh shit, it's a walker. That bitch gonna get up and start tweaking. What happened? Oh, it's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. We're gonna have to move. Now we're gonna take what's old. If you really think you can fuck with us, fuck out the way. Alright, stay frosty. I don't think that walker's dead. I don't think that walker's dead. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? A lot. Who's in the country? You fuck with us! Hold on now, hold on now. Let go, let go, let go, let go. Stop him in the nuts. Stop him in the nuts. Get stop him in the nuts. Give it to me. Get the butt mash on. Yeah, bitch. We have a freeze. Now you're fine. You okay? Yeah. Come on. Fair. Come on. The gate's right there. Arrows to the right. Walk it to the left. I'm going to walk it behind us. Oh, this is going to knock it down. <laughs> he ain't gonna touch me. He ain't gonna touch me. He ain't gonna touch me. Let's get out of here. You lucky sons of bitches. Go ahead and run. We ain't going nowhere. They just firing arrows in nature and chasing after you. This is so weird. Lee, what's wrong? It was a goddamn ambush out there! Holy shit! Are, are you okay? Bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah. I'll be alright once it's out. God damn it hurts. Hey, y'all! Mark! Oh my god! What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ! Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just... Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready oh. to go scope out that bandit turn camp, the come find real quick. We'll find them. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. 
What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's oh, of course. real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. She, uh, <laughs> we should know. Oh, what y'all talking hey, about? Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing? I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. I know he's gonna flash out if I go over there, so. Might as well. Might as well. Oh. What up, kid? What up, kid? Ki what up, Clement? Hey, Clint, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Huh. It's been a while since we've been together. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I'm not sure, Clint. I hope so. I hope so, too. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a yeah. little worried about Mark. Might he survive, you know, dodge and arrow? Okay? You got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? And we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck. I so appreciate don't that, Clementine. Okay. <sighs> All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. Alright. Go try covert out. Hold on, let me see what the two uh, fucking special... Hmm. See what these two special up. Uh, this nigga. I guess I'll see what the two special... Uh, <clears throat> special ops is talking about over here. Oh! He ain't chased me down, talking about looking in the barn. What the fuck is this? Well, he definitely got food for whatever's Looks eating. like a feeding station for the cow. Alright, let me see what the two special lobsters talking about. You know they over here cooking up and brewing up something. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? I'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? <sighs> How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? You're a good leader, Lily. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. Mm. Let me talk to this old salty son of a... <laughs> Chateau hey. Shade. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? 
okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. How do you put up with him? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Something. Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. Clearly. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't yeah, judge yeah. him. Don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Alright, I'm not mad at you. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? I'd like to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. See, I'm trying to be hospitable, but this motherfucker, man, I'm gonna give him a sore you can so mean. It's on my mind. What the fuck was that in the back there? Hmm. I'm trying to avoid giving him a sure you can, but it, 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 it's, it's looking like it's, it's coming. I'm talking about my fist gonna be on fire. I'm talking about, boy, it's gonna feel good to crush that big ass nose of here. They gonna think I'm DJ off a Street Fighter. All right, let's go hunt down some uh, Fellas, these niggas in the forest. What were y'all just me? talking about? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No uh -huh, shit. You, you saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots of big Yeah. Lots. Anyway, they're Save nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah. Let's go. It'll be a good fuck opportunity it. to find out a bit more about what Death we're up to against. all infidels. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Mm, you sound like you want to do more than just reconnaissance, my boy. Are you going now? Yeah. I'll so be back you want to pull the Agent 47 and just slice Please everybody here off? I will. When people run in circles, it's a very... 